What is going on, guys? We are back once again, and we are going to be talking about Power, the series finale, as you guys can see from the title. I was right. I was right. <laughs> this is the beginning. Um, spoilers alert, obviously, in the title, Tariq Shot Ghost. Um, if you guys have been following me on Twitter, and I don't talk about Power that much on the channel, um, but I figure I'll go ahead and do it since i watched the show since the beginning, but I called this out from day one. When they shot that episode of Ghost getting shot, and just by the look on his face, I'm thinking, okay, it's got to be Tariq or Tasha, and my first instinct was, it's got to be Tariq, and guess what? All people are like, oh, well, he, he you know, he, he didn't have a gun, he didn't have the, dude, it didn't matter. This little motherfucker was going to get a gun no matter what, so... Of course, through the entirety of this last episode, it goes on the perspective of Tasha and Tariq. Um, Tariq gets away scot-free. And if they do a spinoff about him, I'm not going to watch it. I don't like Tariq. I don't, I don't like the character um, at all. Uh, he is now... Just he, this, this little, this little, this little boy, little boy. Like I'm gonna call him boy because that's what he is. He literally got away with killing his father, basically sending his mom to jail, and the death of his sister is on him too. Um, and everyone says, "Oh well, Rena should have kept her mouth shut and everything." Dude, you guys don't get it. If anyone does not understand, yeah, you're gonna want to try to protect your family. That's obvious. But at the same time, he did get his sister killed. He shouldn't say shit about the thing or he should have just kept it to himself or something and yeah Raina shouldn't have went out but he is responsible for the death of his father and now his sister so and the only thing that really gets me is I think he was faking about obviously he was obviously faking about the death of his dad like, oh where's my dad he, he didn't care same thing with his mom getting arrested his Tasha honestly it didn't really shock me that Tasha was going to go to jail because she is so She's untrustworthy, she ain't loyal, she's a snitch, and she's she's just not cut out. She's been unloyal since, like, day one. And you can tell when she was wanting that, you know, screw Kanan's son. Then she started screwing other ones just when Ghost started doing it. So everybody was pretty much unloyal. Um, I'm, I'm sitting here throughout the entire episode going, wow. Like, wow, I had this weird suspicion he was going to get away with everything, and, and he did, um, and I'm, I'm sitting there, and I'm going, okay, obviously, he's going to get away with this, but honestly, what got me was the only one that got away was technically Tommy, even though, yeah, he did some shit, he got away clean, and Tommy's my favorite character throughout the entire series, um, I've been saying that Tommy's my favorite character, um, Ghost Dying, it's still up for debate if he's actually dead. Um, I didn't like how Tate got away with everything. I'm like, really? And it's actually like what his brother, or either his brother-in-law or his brother stated, that you always get on all four feet like a cat. And I'm thinking, man, I'm like, this son of a bitch here actually got away with everything. Same thing with Sax. He got away with everything. But the only reason why Sax was unable to get Tariq for the murder was because Tariq saw him leaving Truth the same time he did. So he obviously has Sax by the balls right now. So there ain't no way. And now his mom's going to jail for the murder of James and then we also see where <clears throat> he's able to get into college real quick because of connections that Tasha still has and he was able to get into college without a GED which was bullshit if you ask me um, and same thing where he's going to go to college try to get a 3.5 GPA and keep it so that way all the funds that technically was left to him and the kids because Tasha did not get anything in the will uh, Tariq can't get anything until he goes to college for a full year and have a 3.5 GPA. So, obviously, he still has to do what his dad wanted, but he's still going to get away with even killing his father and getting, technically, all the inheritance that his father had from money to the nightclub to everything that his father owned. He's going to have. So, he's pretty much going to have a free ride. He's just got to play good boy for a year. And obviously, he may send money to try to take care of his mom's affairs. But here's the thing. He has so many enemies right now. Because, okay, Dre's dead because he set up Dre. Tommy knows who killed Ghost because he saw him. 
So Tommy left town. He's going to California as far as we know. Tommy may come back. Tommy may not come back. But then again, he has the entire Italian mob going to be wanting to kill him if he does return to New York City. So that's debatable. Then we see at the very end how Ghost was introduced to Choke by Angela when they were still in high school. So that kind of goes right there to a remembrance of both characters. Uh, it was actually really interesting to see how they were going to get, you know, just tie all this up together. It was basically Therese going to college, Tasha's going to jail, and this whole time I'm thinking, and, and it was leaked early. It was leaked, I think, maybe within a week or two before I think the episode even aired that Tasha was going to jail. So I'm like, okay, oh, yeah, Tasha. I'm like, no, Tasha didn't do it. I'm like, Tasha, Tasha don't have the guts to do it, but at the same time, she killed her best friend. And as Ghost did, because I'll, I'll give Ghost a little credit. He was trying to make rights out of everything. He was trying to make right with uh, Tasha to a certain degree. He was trying to make it right with Tommy. He was trying to make it right with his son. He was trying to make it better and leave his past behind him. But at the same time, he kept getting wrapped into it. So is he at fault for a lot of things? Yes, he's at fault for cheating. He's at fault for lying. He's at fault for killing different people. Yes, he is. But at the same time, I got to give him credit because he was trying to go straight. And every time I turn around, either Tommy, Tasha, his son, or somebody that he knew was trying to get him right back up into it. So, through the entirety of, of this whole entire episode, it goes into uh, basically trying to figure out who they're going to pin the murder on. And Tasha is just, is just as bad as anybody else. She's using people. She used the character Quentin that she met from her uh, babysitting job to basically try to pin the murder on him but luckily this man was smart and had an alibi because obviously just by the way she was acting i think he knew to buy something like okay hey guess what i better have an alibi just in case this shit goes sideways so the man was smart um because because he knew this bitch was was not trustworthy and we got same thing where um tommy handled his business getting out of town Sax, I wish to God Sax or Tate didn't get theirs, man. I, I was hoping that they go to jail or get killed or whatever because I can't stand Tate, I can't stand Sax. But yeah, these motherfuckers are still alive. So it just, it really just got me that they're still alive throughout this entirety of the series that they lasted. And that actually shocked me and everybody else that you wanted to either get theirs, they didn't, or wanted to survive, they didn't. The only character that I wanted to survive and actually survive was Tommy. Um, I was hoping Ghost would survive, but he didn't. So obviously. Um, they, they're they doing this for a lot of shows that the main character dies uh, obviously if there is going to be a spinoff there's been in talks I will not watch it I may watch it I don't know depends on what era they're going to take they may go two three years later after um, the death of Ghost and Tariq possibly you know doing all this but my thing is this little son of a bitch he, he got almost thrown off a rooftop by his own uncle he got a gun to his face by his father. He had a gun to his face by multiple people. And he still did not understand. He still did not understand. And it's like, kid, what is it going to take you to understand this? And he learned too much from Kanan. He learned too much from Ghost. And he learned too much from Tommy of how it works. That's how come he wouldn't stop. Because he learned too much. And he also knew how to play the game to a certain degree. So, it makes me wonder, like... Honestly, should they just gotten rid of Tariq at a certain point in time? Obviously, maybe. But at the same time, you know, there was a reason why somebody was going to get killed off the show. Because there was a lot that killed, got killed off Ghost, Dre, um, Spanky, and then a few others that got killed off. So, it, it, basically, nobody was safe. Everybody started getting killed off this last season. Um, so... Without further ado, Power is gone. Uh, Power was a great ride. Um, I know a lot of it was compared to Empire. Um, what was better, Power or Empire? I've watched both. I like Power. It was very action-packed. It was drama-filled. It was very entertaining. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was a good show. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, what you guys thought about the series finale of Power. I, I liked it to a certain degree. Um, again, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. If you guys are new channel, see about subscribing. Links down description below. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Uh, enjoy the Super Bowl as well. Uh, enjoy time. New videos coming to the channel as soon as possible. So keep a lookout. Click, click the notification bell as well. And I'll be seeing you guys on the very next video. See you later.